Angela O'Hare here, um, Las Vegas Realtor. Today, my daughter and I are going to drive through the Strip and downtown to actually see how desolate it really is. Kind of crazy that it's been a little over a week when the governor shut down all non-essential businesses like all the casinos where thousands and thousands of people lost their jobs or some of them may um, we're put on we're, we are receiving some type of funds which is good so we're going to take a tour of the strip and see how desolate it is hopefully you'll enjoy it it'll be fun sit back relax and let's check this out Normally this time of day, it's uh, almost three o'clock, this traffic would be bumper to bumper. Uh, not anymore. It's pretty crazy. My daughter was like, what happens if it's gonna be crowded? I don't think it's gonna be crowded. There still might be traffic. <laughs> yeah, but it's usually far worse than this. Just, I mean, once you get over there. Yeah. We're at the famous Spaghetti Bowl right now. In the HOV lane. The Hub lane. The Hub lane. The one good thing about this is there's probably not as much smog as there normally would be. <laughs> the air is a little cleaner. Not too many people are driving as normal. Estimated profit, listening to some good tunes. Too bad I can't play it loudly. Probably be copyright infringement. So unfortunately I can't play the Grateful Dead while I'm driving. Darn it. All right, we're starting on Las Vegas Boulevard from Charleston. And um, these are where all the little dingy hotels are. On the other side, oh, there's Sacred Heart Tattoo. My daughter and I went there last, was it? For St. Patty's Day, was it? Or no, <laughs> Friday the 13th. <laughs> We went there for Friday 13th and Saint got us a Patty's tattoo. St. Patty's Day. Tuesday, by St. Patty's Day, everything was like totally done. Last neighborhood bar in Las Vegas. I wouldn't consider that as a neighborhood bar on the Las Vegas Boulevard. the stratosphere now they're calling it the strat it's a lot of people still out walking now's the time for non-tourists us locals to come out and check out the strip <laughs> store the world's largest gift shop whenever my parents would come down to the strip I would have them come to this gift shop to buy me little trinkets they had a cute little slot machines we also got a little dice Las Vegas clock <laughs> I don't know what that is right there look at all those cranes we just passed Sahara so 
So is this your video a tour of the strip or to show how dead it is? Both. It's pretty. I love all the palm trees. There's the Hilton. There's a lot of cars there yesterday, too. I think they're, um, this is the convention center. They're expanding it. <gasps> circus, circus. When I was a kid, we used to go see a lot of the trapeze shows. My parents would stick us in the arcade and play all the fun Circus Circus games. Back then, the Adventure Dome was not around. It's lots of fun. Then here's that new Resort World casino that they're building. knows when that's going to be done. It smells like steak. It's food cooking. It's lunch time. There's Wynn and Encore. came through yesterday just to look at it and uh, it's not as crowded today as it was yesterday. There's the fashion show mall. The fashion show is a huge mall. It is huge. It's a nice mall. It is really nice. I like that sign on the kiosk. Looking forward to a healthy future for our community. Wishing you all the best from the Wynn family to yours. That's very nice. I can't believe how many lights we're at. Uh, the point was to drive smoothly through the strip and videotape this. It's not happening. to pass Treasure Island or TI. This is where the famous pirate scenes happen. My daughter tells me that they still do it. I wonder when they changed it to TI. Well, it's probably always like that. No, they didn't really initially call it TI. I don't think they call it TI. Well, it says TI right there. It says Treasure Island. Yeah. So back in the 90s, when the casinos were being built, or a good chunk of these casinos were being built, they were all around themes. Um, as you can tell, we have Treasure Island, the Mirage with the volcano, Bellagio, and I can't remember when Bellagio came out, and then you have Paris. But back then, it was really big, was MGM, New York, New York, Luxor, and Excalibur. They were all themed casinos. Now it seems like the casinos aren't as themed. I really like the Mirage. I think it's beautiful. When I grew up here in Vegas, the casinos were very elaborate. They had beautiful tree-lined palm trees. It's 
very elegant, very ritzy. Now it's uh, again more commercialized, very themey, <laughs> a little different. We're passing Caesar's Palace right now. Caesar's is pretty too. It's gotten really big. Yeah, the form shops in here. And Bellagio's pretty. And Bellagio. I remember when Bellagio was built. Passing Hell's Kitchen. And then here's the Bellagio. Normally, these streets would be full of people. I mean, you couldn't even walk. It was, it's so full of people. Passing Flamingo. And then here is where the famous fountains are. However, because of everything, they are not going off. On a normal day, you would see a whole crowd of people taking pictures, filming, all that good stuff. Normally, if we were all open, it would take us about an hour or two just to drive up and down the Las Vegas Boulevard. But since everything's pretty much closed, the only people driving through are people like us, locals, checking out how desolate the Strip is. And it's a culture shock. It's very discerning. We're going to pass the Aria and the Cosmo. That's one thing I hate about driving the Strip, especially when it's really crowded, is the traffic lights are crazy and they tend to be too long. Beautiful day out today. Today is, what is today's date? 25th or 26th? No, I think it's the 26th. 26th. Aria. I like doing this. Typically see the car. It's pretty down there. Lots of coppers out protecting these casinos. We're gonna be passing Park MGM. The Wardorf, can't even say that, Astoria. Is it T-Mobile Arena back here? I don't know. I have never been to the T-Mobile Arena, nor do I care to. Sorry, hockey fans. Oh, there it is. I see it. Yeah. It's in the back. <laughs> and now, the famous New York, New York. When it first came out, I remember going down that roller coaster. It was so much fun. And then they had the arcade. Back in the day before a lot of these clubs were built, we would hang out at the casinos. We would hang out at Excalibur, New York, New York, um, MGM Grand, the Luxor. Those were fun places to hang out. Got to know all the bartenders. And then also further down on Tropicana is the Double Down Bar, which was pretty cool. And then don't forget the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Saw a lot of awesome, awesome shows there. Here's this new HyperX Arena. I don't know if it's new, but I'm just learning about it. And then the Excalibur. Not the Excalibur, sorry, the Luxor. It used to be cool. I don't know if they still do it. The top used to light up and um, light the sky. Yeah, it still does. It still does. Yeah. <laughs> See how much I know. Believe it or not, I have not been on the strip like this in probably 10 plus years. I know, shame on me. I used to work at the fashion show mall for four years, but never adventured to the Strip, except for maybe I went to the Cosmo and Aria, but that is the extent of my travels. We are gonna go down just a little ways and then turn around and take um, videos of the other side. See you soon. My daughter was kind enough to stop so I could take a picture of the Las Vegas, famous Las Vegas sign. 
believe it or not, I've been here for almost 30 years. I don't think I've ever stopped at this sign, which is pretty crazy and shame on me. But you gotta experience it once in your lifetime, especially if you're a local. There's actually quite a few people out there. So I'm gonna flip it around and take a picture of the sign and maybe get myself behind it. Are you waiting to take a picture? I wanted to get with nobody there. But You're right. They've been there like 30 pictures at least. What? All right, looks like they're leaving. <laughs> yeah, I just want to have one with it empty. Right. It's always full. It's a very rare opportunity. Is that one of those steadier deals? It's a, it's a gimbal. Yeah, that's cool. I had to have a drone. It does the same basic thing. Now we are on the other side of the strip. We are about to pass Tropicana and again, more coppers are out. Still not a lot of cars out today. The famous Tropicana, it's been around for years. MGM Grand coming up with that green lion and another friggin' stop sign. Let's look at the New York, New York. I think it's cool. I always thought the New York, New York was cool. The Statue of Liberty and the different size buildings. Yeah. At a stoplight, so I thought I would say hello. I hope you're enjoying this tour. It's a beautiful day out today. Um, next week, it's supposed to be in the 80s, which will be nice. Uh, I've no one thing I've noticed about this whole coronavirus is that a lot of people have been spending time outside with their families, which I think is really cool. Spend time with your families. Get back to the basics. Anyway, let's take a tour. This is where T-Mobile is, M&M World, Coca-Cola, Hard Rock Cafe, the food place. Fortunately, that did not shut down. Then you have Ross and Target. I can't believe there's a Target on the strip. It's not even built yet. Oh, it's not even built yet. And then we got Polo Towers, which have been around for eons, eons and then Planet Hollywood. And the history about Planet Hollywood is it actually used to be the Aladdin Hotel and Casino. Um, back in the day, I used to see quite a few good shows at the Aladdin, they had a great venue there. Saw Pearl Jam, saw Fish. And then the Perry. Paris, another themed casino. And then Bally's, Bally's actually used to be the old original MGM and back in the 80s there was a fire. Um, I don't remember what floor or what year in the 80s, I just remember it happened and I used to live here. <laughs> and then I guess Bally's bought out and then the MGM built at the end of the strip. One thing about Las Vegas is if a casino is not doing well, they'll tear it down and build a new one. Another stoplight on Flamingo and Las Vegas Boulevard, waiting to continue on with our tour. Hopefully you're enjoying this. And again, there's millions of other people out there posting on YouTube what the Las Vegas trip looks like. But I just wanted to share my advantage point for being a Vegas local and being here for so many years, what I feel about it. Anyway, enough about that. Oh, the Cromwell, and then the Flamingo Hilton, or the Flamingo, I don't know if it's Hilton. Flamingo is no, I hate when I make mistakes. <laughs> I 
feel like you just say random stuff. I do say random stuff. Margarita. Like, does that even make sense? It doesn't make sense. The link. That's cool. The link with the um high roller. High roller, yeah. Have you been on the high roller? Multiple times. Really? Yes. So Harrah's is the first casino that I can remember that went non-smoking. I'm not sure if it is still a non-smoking casino or not, but back in the 90s, it became a non-smoking casino. How is the high roller? Boring. Really? Yeah. It's, it's not slow. pretty? It's extremely slow. And it's just the back of buildings. Really? Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. Well, I bet it'd be fun like on New Year's Eve or something or 4th of July when you can yeah. see the fireworks. And you're with a ton of random people in a pod. In a pod. Here's the Venetian and Palazzo. The Venetian's so pretty. Oh, let's see if I can get it. It's funny, there's not a lot of traffic on the other side now. This side has more traffic. But there is hardly anyone walking. The only people we've seen that's walking are homeless people. Here's the Palazzo. Oh, Palazzo's pretty too. You been to the Palazzo? I don't know. It's like Italian or something, right? So we were here yesterday and I filmed, however, it was a little too windy out yesterday and we really couldn't hear what I was saying. So we had to come back again today to capture this site, unfortunately. Passing the wind and encore. You can see my reflection because I can't have the window down. Lots of popo, lots of police protecting the casinos it's sunny Chapel of Flowers. Oh my god, can this person go like a little bit faster? The culinary Health Fund. Oh, interesting. Huh. I know it's close to the stratosphere. Oh, there it is. Chapel of Flowers. That's where Brian and I got married. Small. Yeah, it's a great venue at another stoplight. So I thought I would stop and say hi. Um, 
It's fun touring with my daughter, even though she doesn't like me recording. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fun to add somebody else besides me all the time. Anyway, the light's green. We're gonna keep on going. We are crossing Charleston and Street. I don't know Charleston and something uh, Las Vegas Boulevard. That's crazy. That tattoo place is completely boarded up. Yeah, that was crazy. A lot of them are, I guess. Well, yeah, you can't get a tattoo. I know. But is this Container Park? No. no. Container Park's by Fremont. I always wanted to go there. You can drive by. I like that area a lot. By Fremont. Yeah, a lot of people do. It's really nice. So downtown's like revitalizing itself and really, another wedding chapel, really, you know, trying to become more hip. The Zappos owner has put like $3 million into downtown. I wonder uh, how we get to Fremont in that area. What? I wonder how we get to that area. I think you just keep on going on Las Vegas Boulevard. I don't think so, because we're almost at the freeway. Oh, I've been there before with your dad. I don't know why and what it is in there, but I've been there. Huh. Fremont's on one of these streets, like a right. I think if we keep on going, we're gonna pass no. Fremont. Yeah, but it's on the right somewhere. I'm gonna look over and take a Hmm. I miss that you used to be able oh, to... Oh, it's right here. Container Park. Or close to it. It's to the right somewhere. Let's pass the next street. Does it tell you? Yeah. It's on Fremont. Yeah. Okay. Are we close to Fremont? Yeah. We're going to go check out Container Park. I'm excited. Nobody's going to be there. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> uh, it's kind of weird because when I was a kid growing up, we used to be able to drive Fremont Street and then they closed it up and made that whole dome like TV screen thing and it's kind of interesting how things have changed over the years in Vegas and seeing it of course my memory is kind of shot remembering the time frames when all this happened but I'm sure if I looked it up I, I could tell you but anyway I'm gonna flip this around and see more about this downtown. Fremont. Can I turn it? Yeah I can. Slow. It's amazing. We just took a right off of um, Fremont and I, everything is bordered up down here. I heard they have a lot of cool restaurants and bars. It's very hip. A lot of the hipsters like to hang out here. I wonder if we can park over there, Autumn. Yeah. I'm go straight this way. Okay. Yeah, we'll stop. If we can stop at Container Park. All right, there's nobody at the light. Turn green, dudes. There you go. All righty. One day I'm gonna actually take a tour of Container Park when it's actually open. Yeah, I know. Just gonna kind of cruise, cruising down downtown Vegas. It's actually nice not walking, or I mean, it's actually nice not driving. <laughs> huh? The tire helps. Car. Yeah. This whole thing is life is beautiful. Really? Yeah, so we walk at all of this. Really? Yeah. Where's the concert at? So there's a stage right there. And uh -huh. There's stages in between. There's all that. They turn this into like. Um, Let me stop and. Like they sell film the shirts. Stop, stop. Oh my god. That's pretty cool. So where would you where'd you park at? You park further by LVA, the high school. And oh really? You can go in here, everything. There's wow. shops, yeah.
like what world are we in where everything is shut down life as we know it is on hold basically Do you think they'll have it here again or they've always had it here? It's always here. Oh, it is? Always, yeah. I'm going to have to go. Yeah, so, like you said, they have a class, you can sit in, they have food, and they put up a stage over here. Wow. There's another one over there. It's fun. Sounds fun. They, like, convert the alleyways. Where do they put the bands at? On the stages. Oh, there's different stages? Yeah. This is pretty cool. Sorry for the fence, but at least you get the gist of it. We'll just walk to the corner and then walk back and go down Fremont Street. Daughter's scared. It's kind of scary. Probably not because there's homeless people at every <laughs> angle. <laughs> oh, there's the life is beautiful sign. Yeah, so this whole thing is stage usually. Oh, that's cool. Hey, I got a tour guide. Show me around. I wouldn't have done any of this. To cross 8th Street. Walk sign is on. To cross 8th Street. Walk sign Ooh, is on. Let's go. <laughs> now we're walking back. There's somebody over there yelling. So, uh, kind of creepy. Oh, Look at that pink slipper. When I was little, there used to be on the strip called the Silver Slipper. It was a Silver Slipper Hotel and Casino. El Cortez has been around for a minute. Everybody's driving, doing the same thing. Some homeless people looking in the dumpster diving. <laughs> My daughter thinks I'm weird. <laughs> That would have been good turmeric flavor of India. That's I love your tattoo thing. I love Indian food. Yeah, that's my tattoo right there. The Om symbol. Oh, it's cross. We can cross. Right, we're not. We're gonna, we're gonna go to Fremont real quick. It's not that far, dude. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's just right there. Come on, Autumn. Don't be lazy. No one knows that you're in pajamas. It looks like you're in your sweats. That's pretty cool. You can't even access Fremont. We're not. We're just going to stop right there at the gate, dude. Why? Because I want to film it. Here, you want to go to the car? <laughs> Crackhead City. <laughs> Don't ever come down this way by yourself at night. It's pretty cool, the El Cortez. If you ever watch The Walking Dead with everything all bordered up, so no one can get into the places. Powered by Zappos. I 
I can't believe they're still playing music. Pick up here, thank you. Ooh, you want some food? Uh, flipping this, huh? Not from here. Looks good. Hottest chicken in Vegas. crazy how they kind of commercialized Fremont Street. I just think that's crazy. The Fremont Street experience. It's crazy. Yeah, we're going to turn around. We are heading back to the car. Got to experience this whole downtown. Crazy seeing all this bordered up. It's very surreal. I can't believe we're going through this. Pray for us in Vegas since we are heavily a tourism industry. I hope you've liked this video. Um, I'm not too much covering a lot of Vegas stuff. I do cover a lot of Vegas stuff, but you know, after this is all over, I definitely want to take a tour of Container Park, the Neon Museum, the Mom Museum, all the stuff that's related to Vegas, but not necessarily the whole Las Vegas strip. Uh, that's just not me and who I am. I like to cover things that we can do. But anyway, if you like this video, thumbs up, all that jazz. Peace out, and we'll be talking to you soon.